Oh, this is from Cindy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, they're so cute. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Oh. I just can't believe my baby's going to be a mommy. Mother. Mm. <laughs> just you wait. In a few years, you'll sound just like me. Would you pass me that green bow, please? Now, I've forgotten this custom. How do you use the bouquet? You use it at the wedding rehearsal instead of the real one. Wedding rehearsal? <laughs> Andrea was married two years ago. I remember Andrea's sweet 16 just like it was yesterday. There we go again. Mm. Did we make a bouquet? No, we spent the entire evening ratting our hair and lip syncing the baby love, my baby love. Leave me out of this I was way college. Oh, yes, and we remember what you sent for a present. What? Not now. Oh, yeah. No, I th we can talk about this later. No. A dozen condoms. Oh. <laughs> a a dozen. dozen. Mother, she didn't even know what they were. <laughs> she obviously never used them. Oh. <laughs> it's baby love. Lovely gifts, and and I want to thank Mom and Laura for giving oh, me this sweet. shower. Oh, oh. Welcome, darling. <laughs> I am a very, very happy blimp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how many copies? I wish. Decaf? Ah, decaf. Yeah, okay. Decaf. Mm -hmm. Look at your nails. I know. Isn't that awful? I have very mixed feelings about you getting your teaching credentials, by the way. I mean, the university may be gaining a wonderful teacher, but we are losing an incredible manicurist. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll do them for old time's sake. Oh, you don't have to do that. I want to. Okay. <laughs> so where have you been all week? I haven't seen you on campus. Well, I've been preparing for Regents meetings. Are you going to take your sabbatical this year? I don't think so. You said you were. I know. I say it every year, and then I don't do it. But um, I guess I'm just happier when I'm working. Well, I decided to take some time off this year. Oh, really? Why? To have a baby. A baby? Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. When are you two going to start trying? Well, we, we started. And? And it worked. Oh. How long? How far? Two months. Why didn't you tell us? Oh, lucky you! God! Oh, God! I'll just wrap all these up and give them to you next week. Oh, God! So, why did you send Andrea prophylactics? Mother, that was 16 years ago. Well, what other things have you done that I didn't know about? Oh, you want the truth? Mm -hmm. When you and Daddy went to New York, we snuck in to see Deep Throat. 
Am I absolved or should I go to my room? Get the milk out of the refrigerator, please. Yeah. Mother. Mom, did you hear about Cindy? She's pregnant. No, when did that happen? Probably on the first pop. It's no wonder there's not a preservative in either one of their bodies. You know, that's what my problem must be. Too many artificial sweeteners, too many nitrates, ammonium... So when do you see the doctor? Day after tomorrow. I don't know why, but I have a real good feeling this time. Oh, honey, I hope so. <laughs> you know, Andrea's watching you like a hawk. Making sure that you're okay. Well, I have been the perfect older sister, haven't I? Well, yes. I mean, have I beat her up once since she got pregnant? You know what a strong effect you have on her, so just be aware of it. Yes, mother. Okay, who has the unleaded? So, uh, you want some dessert? <sighs> Are you sure? They have uh, some apple tartan that no, is I great. I'm still working on Friday's chocolate mousse pie. <laughs> All right, thanks. You want to leave your car here and I'll drop you off uh, I'm not going to stay at your place tonight. Why not? I've got the regents coming in tomorrow and, and I'd like to get in there early. So we'll get up early. It's just too rushed that way. Honey, the regents will not be there at 6 a.m. <laughs> Look, what the hell is going on? Y you've been pouting ever since we got here. I have not. You have. I'm tired. Oh, PMS. Everything is PMS. Okay, then what the hell is it? I am sick and tired of going back and forth from your place to mine. I am the chairman of the English department of a prestigious college, and I am living out of my car like one of my students. Yvonne. I want to pack to go on a vacation, not to maintain a relationship. I mean, this has been going on for three years. I can't do it anymore. Where did you go this afternoon? A, a wedding? A, a shower? Baby shower. Oh, God. Lauren, I think after three years, this relationship could use a little definition. It has definition. It does not. We get closer and closer, but nothing ever happens. I want a family, and I don't have much time left to do that. Are you going to say anything? This is our semi-annual discussion. But we will not have this discussion again. Are you giving me an ultimatum? I'm doing the family portrait for the bride, and I ask her parents to step into the shop. And the wife refuses to have her photograph taken with her ex-husband. It seems to me that people are more angry these days. Have you noticed that? Not really. But then I'm with kids all day long. Did you talk to Jane about your maternity leave? Not yet. Well, what are you waiting for? Might as well start preparing her now. I will. Oh, Jake, listen, I got some new names. You want to hear? Sure, I do. Jackson. Love it. Dakota. Savannah. Don't make me choose. I think we're going to have to have twins. No, I have a lot more. Montana, Atlanta, Wyoming. <laughs> Don't forget New Jersey. Oh, come on, Jake. You want to know what I think is a really great name? What? Jake Jr. You can't name a girl Jake Jr. Mm. And if it were a boy, I'd always have to say Jake Jr. Like, come here, Jake Jr. Otherwise, you'd think I was calling you. No, I, I'd answer to, uh... Hey, you fantastic guy. Or, um... Come here, you oh. big hunk. Oh. oh, thanks a lot. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, it's, it's Jake Jr. Well, last night you went to bed at 9 o'clock. This morning I practically had to firebomb you out of bed. I'm making a new human being. It's not that easy. I know. 
Okay, what do you say we deep six this wallpaper and maybe play an hour of backgammon? It's not going to be too rough on you, is it? No. I love it. I'll be right back. Cindy, do you remember where you put it? Oh, wait. No, never mind. Here it is. I found it. What are you doing? Getting ready. For what? For, uh... We don't have to tonight. It's the 16th. No, it's only the 15th. Oh. You... Ah. You don't have to act so damn relieved. I mean, you don't have to take your temperature. You don't have to stand on your head. I don't have to perform. We can just lie here like a couple of pieces of flounder. We have had some fun, you know. I mean, it's not exactly the worst chore in the world. You're not thinking about that, are you? Well, I suppose it's been more fun than hosing down the patio. <laughs> David! You know, you, you actually do look sort of pretty tonight. I thought you were thrilled to have the night off. What are you doing? We're not supposed to waste sperm. You know? Who am I in bed with here? The, uh, the Pope? <laughs> hey, I have a great idea. Why don't we just uh, make love? Just for the heck of it. For no other reason other than conjugal bliss. Just pure marital sort of fooling around. Hmm? Would that be right? Which hand is Roxanne holding up? Good. Very animal. Part of the cat family and is very big and has a mane. Lion. Lion. Good. Now, tell me the name. Lion. Good. Louder. Lion. Oh, good, good. All right, now, what does a lion do? They roar! It's a jungle in here. <laughs> so, how much time do you want off? Six months. I mean, I'll work up until it's time for the baby to be born, but then I'd really like to spend six months at home. It's gonna be hard to find a replacement for six months. Roxanne can't handle it all herself. Even if she could, I'd have to increase her salary, plus your benefits. Jane, I, I'm entitled to maternity leave. Oh, yes, I know. I've applauded all the court decisions, the battles that have been won, but when it happens to you, I... I mean, we're dependent on donations. We're constantly struggling just to survive. So are Jake and I. Without this money, we won't make it. Yes, I know. Just give me a little time to adjust. Thank goodness Roxanne's gone through menopause.
Hi, this is Laura Wallenstein. Dr. Daniels told me to call at five for the results of my pregnancy test. Hi, Dr. Daniels. It's Laura. I see. Okay. All right. Um, I'll see you on Thursday. Bye. Well? Next time. Next time. In 1918, Adams was already writing about a 20th century dualism. It was through a kind of detached intellectuality. But even in his autobiography, he came to the ultimate conclusion that chaos was the law of nature and that order was the dream of man. That was... <laughs> and I've done it again. I'm oh, sorry. It's okay. It's worth it. We'll see you Thursday. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Hi. Hello. Um, that's your last class? Yes. What are you doing here? Wanted to see you. You busy? No, not at all. Good. It's fine. Should we go somewhere? No, no, no. This is, uh, this is fine. Okay. Uh, look, Ron, I've, uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking about that conversation we had the other night. Uh, you gave me an ultimatum, and I think rightly so. I mean, you're nearly 40 years old and you want to uh, get on with your life. And I, I don't want to stand in your way. <laughs> I don't think I'm finding the right words. Uh, I've rehearsed this over and over in my mind a thousand times. I'm sure your reviews will be excellent. Look, Yvonne, I know you're angry with me. And I know I'm hurting you and I don't want to hurt you. I just wish we could go on the way we have been. No obligations, no commitments. And... Leasing, not buying. I don't want to get married. And I certainly don't want any more children. Are you uh, afraid of something? Oh. Look, I've done it. And I don't want to do it again. I can't see you anymore, Lauren. It's just too difficult. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. But I don't want to lose you as a friend. Spare me that conversation, will you? <sighs> You're fine. Please. I really hope you get everything you want. Me too. Oh, I know you. You would never have called us. You've sat home all by yourself feeling lonely and miserable. Fine. You are not. I'm not. Fine. When you used to come into the shop, I'd ask you how you were, you'd say fine. But by the fourth or fifth cuticle, the real truth would come out. Okay. I just, at this point in my life, did not expect to be alone, you know? You have your whole life ahead of you. The older part. The wiser part. My biological clock is starting to sound like Big Ben. <laughs> Someone will come along. Yep, when I'm 40. And then, by the time we become accustomed to each other's peccadilloes, I'll be 50. And by the time he's willing to commit, I'll be on Social Security. You gotta look at the bright side. By the time the two of you break up, yikes, you'll already be dead. <laughs> Row, Cindy. Row, Row. <laughs> It's like falling off a horse. You just get back on. You get out there, you keep yourself open. 
How'd you know that was what I was going to say? I have given this speech. Well, then listen to yourself. It's humiliating starting to date all over again at my age. Well, you're going to have to, whether you like it or not. You can't marry a guy without going out with him first. Well, <laughs> I just hate it, you know? You, you, you get all dressed up, go downstairs, and you open the door, and it's... Hello. Very pleased to meet you. Can I get you a drink? Uh, I, 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 I love tennis. Do you like tennis? Do you like Mozart? I love Mozart. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're rolling in a circle. <laughs> Why'd you stay with Lawrence so long? I don't know. I guess I thought eventually he'd come around. Maybe it was just safe territory. Now, I believe this is the first time I have been analyzed in a rowboat. No, you know what? Seriously, Yvonne, I've thought about this a lot with you. I mean, maybe you just never wanted to get married and have well, I children. I think for many years that was true. I just wanted so much to achieve something. But that was then. And now? I don't feel like anyone could take my success away from me. And you felt that marriage and children would stop that? I guess so. Well, I think if you're ready for it, it'll come to you. Or if only life were that obedient. <laughs> you know, in three weeks, I am receiving the Excellence in Education Award. Oh, that's great. great. I just wish I had someone to share it with, you know. I'm 39 years old and I don't have a date for the prom. We'll find someone for you. Where, in the Yellow Pages? There's a guy in David's firm who just got separated. I'll investigate. Can we talk about someone else for a while? Cindy, how are you feeling? Well, I was very excited about having big breasts. <laughs> <laughs> but now all they do is hurt, so... Are you going to have any of those tests? I don't think so. Don't you want to know if it's a boy or a girl? Well, Jake and I don't want to do any poking around. Well, you've already done that. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful if in a couple of years we all had children and all our children would play together? Yeah, but then we wouldn't be able to have an outing like this. I mean, as it is, Jake is home pouting. What do you want to be with them for when you can be with me? It would be so wonderful. Bacon's delicious. Eggs are just right. What is this for? I'm glad you asked. You have to fill it. With what? Dr. Daniels suggested that we do a sperm count. Why? Because we've been trying to get pregnant for over a year. Well, do you... Do you... Does he think that, the, that there's some problem with me? David, darling, it's just a test. Well, what does it entail? Well, you go into his office. Oh, we, we can't do it here? No, it has to go straight to the laboratory. Well, will it be fun? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's all in the attitude. Hey, Mr. Wallerstein? Mr. Wallerstein? Yes. We need to have you fill this job with a sperm specimen. Huh. Fill it, huh? Don't you have anything smaller? <laughs> the bathroom is over there. David. Will you be all right without me? 
Well, sweetheart, there's some things a man has to do by himself. Bye-bye. Wait a minute. Thank you. husband is. I think he'll be a little while. Why didn't he go to the men's room near the elevator? Oh, um, he couldn't. Sir, could I get in there, please? Uh, look, could, could you please not do the nurse? Hey, are you almost finished? Hey, almost uh, uh, miss, you cannot do this. My husband is in there and he needs his privacy because... to know that I was thinking of you. Ivan, is responding to messages too plebeian for you? I'm sorry, Sam. You get the EEA award and you don't even call to tell me? Sorry again. What have you been doing for two weeks? I've been evaluating the curriculum, rewriting Beowulf. Well, where, where are you going now? What are your plans? My plans for this evening involve a defrosted chicken. Huh? Oh, tonight? You're mine. First, uh, we'll get some hors d'oeuvres. Two hot dogs with everything on it. Okay. How was your blind date? Which one? I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> that one. The whole entire evening, she whined about her ex-husband. He wouldn't do this, he always said this, he never said that. It was loads of fun. What about you? Ever hear from Lauren? No. You were too good for him. Why does everybody say that? The minute you break up, if I'd have married this guy, you would have thought he was wonderful. Not me. I always found him uh, limited. Remembrance of things past. <laughs> I'm so jealous of you English professors, remembrance of things past. You can always fit your subject into everyday conversation. I can't just pipe in with all right angles or equal. <laughs> anyway, who needs a relationship when you've got the EEA award? Another trophy. You planning on being there? Oh, I'd love to, but uh, that weekend I'm going to be in Montreal. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. What's the matter? Nothing. Why? Do you want me to take you to the dinner? No, you're going to be in Montreal. You don't want to go alone. Just say the word. I'll change my plan. Abs, I wouldn't hear of it. But you're an awfully good friend for offering. There's something wrong, Laura. If everything's all right, they call right away. If something's wrong with my sperm count, Dave, I just... Just relax. Hello? Yes, it is. Hello, Dr. Daniels. Yes, he's right here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, I've heard of it. No, I want to. Of course I will. Thank you, doctor. Bye-bye. Your sperm count is normal. Thank you. So, what do we do now? Now they run a series of tests on me. What kind of tests? Uh, I don't know. They all have long names. Hmm. Are they complicated? Some are.
David, I want you to know that if the problem is in me, I will do everything it takes to get us pregnant. Okay? Laura? Yes, Dr. Daniels. How are you? Sleep. Okay, what's wrong with me? The laparoscopy showed there's just a little bit of scarring on one of your tubes. But that shouldn't be blocking a pregnancy. That's all it showed? That's correct. Well, then why aren't I getting pregnant? Well, there isn't always a medical reason for infertility. I don't understand. What are you saying? I'm saying that physically I haven't found a reason why you're not conceiving. Perhaps it's psychological. Psychological? Doctor, I want a baby more than anything else in the world. How are you doing? Pretty good. You know, the doctor says I can start inseminations in two weeks. Sweetheart, you, you just had a laparoscopy. Don't you want to give it a rest? David, it's not major surgery. I'm fine. Well, I think we've got to discuss how long we want to keep trying these things. What do you mean? I mean, how far do you want to go with this? How many more tests do you want to have? How long do you want to continue being poked and probed at? Until it works. Oh, um, no, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you have a lovely place. Thank you. Uh, how, how long have you lived here? Twelve years. Twelve years? Twelve years. <laughs> well, uh, you must be getting hungry. Oh. Uh, why don't we go? Great. Okay. So after she got the house on Spring Street, then she wanted the boat. I mean, she'd always hated the boat. Suddenly, she won. What about your children? Well, we have joint custody. My daughter is a real pain. She's becoming a really ungrateful teenager. How many children do you have? We have three. We planned on two. The third was kind of an accident. Uh, they're, uh, they're a lot of work, those kids. My goodness, look what time it is. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should go, huh? Oh, yeah, I've got an early free trial tomorrow. You know, Yvonne, this has been real nice. We have to do it again. That would be lovely. Excuse me, uh, could you tell us where maternity is? Fourth floor. Thank you. Ladies' lingerie. Anyone speaking Farsi report to fourth floor reception? Anyone speaking Farsi report to fourth floor reception? What is the matter? Nothing. Did you go see the new OBGYN? Yes. You know what he said? What? He said, I have great news. David, that is a compliment when you're trying to get pregnant. Fine, fine. Sweetheart, do you think that you're up to going through with this now? Yes, of course. Okay. Honey, please, please don't let your mother or your sister see you like this. They could think I'm crying out of happiness. No, they, they know you better than that. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's a boy. Oh, yeah. Andrea's fine. Great. Scott Daniel, named after Daniel. Uh. Which one? Which one is he? He's fifth from the left. Are you sure? Oh, I mean, fourth from the left.
125 over 80. Is that good? Very good. We should probably do an ultrasound. Is it necessary? I think it's helpful. You're a young woman, not yet 30. You seem to be in wonderful health, but I do recommend it to my patients. What for? We can verify exactly how many weeks pregnant you are. We can see the placement of the fetus in the womb and make sure it's developing properly. We can actually see the baby? Mm-hmm. And it's not dangerous at all to the fetus? No danger that we know of. Well, I guess it would be all right. There it is. You see the hand? <laughs> the head. Oh, my. Oh, sucking its thumb. Oh, my <laughs> God, Jake. It's our baby. It's beautiful. Look, it's moving. Can you see it, Jake? It's he's moving. Please don't tell us if it's a boy or a girl. Dr. Liu? Yes, Cindy. Don't tell us if it's a boy or a girl. Yes, I heard you. Is everything okay? What is it? What's wrong? Jake, Cindy, this is Dr. Singer. He's the head of San Francisco's Genetic Institute. Cindy, Jake. Dr. Singer, we examine you. Hopefully this shouldn't be too cold. We try to keep it warm. Okay. Now let's see what we can see here. It's the right kidney. Right there where the enlargement is. Yes, I see it. What made that happen? Well, we don't know. We're going to have to do an amniocentesis to see whether the enlarged kidney is due to a chromosomal problem. What if it is a chromosomal problem? Well, then there could be other complications. What do you mean, other complications? I'd like you to come back in two weeks for the results of the amnio to see if it's genetic and to examine the baby's kidney. Two weeks? What am I supposed to do for the next two weeks? Hi. How was your day? Oh, it was busy. We're still up to our ears in that Fremont merger. How was your day? I decided to quit my job. Well, I don't think that's a good idea. I've already done it. What? What are you saying? How can you make a decision like that without talking to David, me about I've it first? David, I've been with the doctors more than I've been with the clients. It's not fair to the agency. Laura, trying to get pregnant is not a career, okay? You can't make a career out I of it. I am not, damn it. I just can't do everything at once. You call them back, tell them you made a mistake and that you want no, your job back. I can't do that. Laura! I will not do that. You're getting obsessed. Do you know that? I know what I want. Yeah, well, that's not going to make it happen. Don't tell me that. Don't you tell me that! When I was informed that I was going to be the recipient of this award, my first reaction was, why? In exploring that reaction, I surmised that Oftentimes, we are amazed to be rewarded for something that we love to do. I mean, there have been moments when I have wanted to bestow an award on the university for a most satisfying 10 years of teaching. Thank you.
must have worked for a month on this speech. It was so eloquent, you know, and she's in this green jacket and stockings. I mean, she looked beautiful. She spoke beautifully. And then we asked her to come out with us, and, and she wanted to go straight home. Yvonne is the most accomplished woman I know. Honey, uh, I had a call from David yesterday. Well, he is your son-in-law. He's very upset about your leaving your Mother, job. Mother, I am a big girl, okay? I know what I'm doing. You're putting too much emphasis on this. Ugh. That's easy for you to say. Laura, he's very upset. Mother, he'll be fine, all right? You want to know what's new in the world of fertility? We're starting inseminations on Monday. I bring them David's sperm, and the doctor injects it artificially. Hi, Mrs. Strauss. Oh, what a cute baby. Who's the mommy? I'm the mommy. The grandmother? Uh, the aunt. But I'm starting my inseminations on Monday. Jake. What did I do wrong? What are you talking about? What did I do that made our baby have all these problems? Sweetheart, it's not your fault. What do we do if the baby's kidney has gotten larger? I think we should just wait and see what the doctor says. The baby's not sick. Cindy, it's not a baby yet. The doctor refers to it as a fetus. And that's what it is. What are you saying? I'm just saying that, you know, that I think it's important that we remember that we're not dealing with a fully formed human being here. Right? You know, sometimes nature goes wrong. And it's not your fault. See what the doctor says. Now, you understand that the results of the amnio coming back normal indicate that there's no chromosomal problems. Yes. Well, we consider that good news. Sorry to say, there's quite a bit of fluid accumulation around the kidney. It's pressing on the fetus's chest, which could stunt the growth of the lungs. We're going to have to discuss the various alternatives. There is a procedure that I've performed before. We insert a needle through your abdomen into the baby's kidney area where we attempt to drain it. What would that do it? Well, it would alleviate the immediate problem. We won't know if the baby has a functional kidney until it's born. Now, right now, the other kidney looks fine, but again, we don't know. You also have the choice of terminating the pregnancy. I'm 16 weeks pregnant. An abortion is legal until 24 weeks. Why don't you change back into your clothes, and we'll meet in my office and talk. We're going to have to reach a decision very soon. Yes, Jake. It's a boy, isn't it? Yes, it is. Ready? Have a 
happy ovulation day. Yeah. Yeah. What is it, David? Nothing. I, I have more of a relationship with a jar these days than I do with you, that's all. What's the matter now? Well, I'm beginning to hate this. What? All of the, the uh, pressures. David, I have enough problems to overcome. Are you going to be my next obstacle? Oh. oh. Is that how you see me now? As an obstacle or an asset to your goals? What about my feelings? And what about what this is doing to us? We want to be pregnant. We, we've tried so many things, Laura. We've seen so many doctors. David, that we're it's... lucky we have all these medical possibilities. Come on. Huh? Don't give up on me now. Why aren't we at least talking about the alternatives? Why haven't we discussed adoption? I don't want to adopt. I've got to get your sperm to the doctor before it dies. Should do it. How was it for you, Doctor? Did the earth move? The office move? Rest here for 15 minutes. If it doesn't take, we'll try again next month. Three times could be the charm. No luck? No luck. So, what are you thinking about trying next? In vitro. Take one of my eggs, mix with David's sperm in small dish, replace in uterus, bake for nine months. Simple as possible. How is it so easy for you? For Andrea, why is it so impossible for me? I don't know, honey. I don't think there are always answers for these things. So many people seem to be having problems lately. There are so many complications nowadays. Do you have a smile for mommy? Oh. I don't know. When I was a young woman, you just had babies. Oh, Andrea, be careful. Oh, God. He was smiling. I think he liked it. Well, that doesn't mean it's good for him. Well, when you have your own children, you can raise them the way you want to. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I am. I am. You just can't run everybody and everything all the time. I'm getting tired of walking on eggshells around. Girls, you. please. No, Mom, it's true. We always have to worry about Laura's reactions, about Laura's problems. Well, I can't do that. I can't worry about that 24 hours a day. I've got responsibilities of my own. Uh, Laura, good. Fine. Don't you want me to have the surgery, Jake? Not if it's going to be dangerous to you in any way. Doctor says it's not. Look, is this surgery really going to help the baby? Is it going to make any difference at all? Well, they said he could. Cindy, what if he's really sick? We'll take care of him. What if he's gonna be sick all his life? I don't know if I'm the kind of person, if I have the strength it takes to... We'd find the strength, Jay. Yeah, but what if we couldn't? I mean, what if he has to be on a kidney machine all his life? 
Do you think that's going to be fair to him? Is it going to be fair to us? Cindy. Why can't we just start all over again? I can't have an abortion, Jake. If he has half a chance of being healthy, I just couldn't. I shouldn't have ever agreed to let her look at the baby. Then we wouldn't have known any of this. It would have been God's way. We have the knowledge. We have the information. We could do something about it. And let's try the surgery, Jake. Let them try and drain the kidney, and we'll pray that our son will be all right. This is a local anesthetic, Cindy, and it's going to take effect immediately. you to stay very still, Cindy. We're going to insert this needle very slowly until it reaches the baby's kidney area. I'm right here, honey. Right, are you feeling any pain? No. Is it hurting the baby? No, no, no. The baby's in a good position. I think we'll be able to reach the kidney area. And right, it's getting closer. Please, God, make it all right. We're at the kidney area. I'm entering the baby's kidney. right spot. What can you see? Is he going to be all right? Does the kidney look normal? We're not going to be able to determine that until the baby's born, but for now it's the best we can hope for. Stay strong, little boy. We love you. David left. We have an appointment. Never mind. He's here. Sorry. Bye-bye. Where have you been? We are supposed to be at the clinic at three. I don't want to go to any clinics. What are you talking about? I can't do this. Yes, you can. Laura, sometimes I don't want to come home at night. You know that? I drive around and around the neighborhood because I can't face the idea of coming in here and dealing with your longings or the sense of failure that fills the house. What a horrible thing to say. Well, it's the truth. Now, for God's sake, listen to me. I don't want to live like this anymore. I can't. Why are you doing this to me, David? Why are you doing this to us? I thought it was what we wanted. No, we wanted a family. But you're, you're, you're obsessed. I don't understand. You just don't understand. You are tearing us apart. We do not have a life anymore. You realize if we had started adoption proceedings, we I wouldn't be going not, through any of this? I am not giving up. It's not giving up? You're a quitter, David. Well, maybe I am. Where are you going? I, uh... 
I'll come back tomorrow and get some of my things. No. I need some time by myself. I... I gotta work some of this out. Well, I still have to get a present for Sam. How is Sam? He's great. Does he have a girlfriend? No, he's so picky. Oh, like someone else I know. Who's not picky? How can I be picky when there are no candidates from which to pick? Oh. We never understood why you and Sam don't just get together. Oh, we're friends. I love him, but we're just not attracted to each other. What happened to that guy who set you up with? Oh, you mean Hayden? Yes. Oh, please. He was awful. Ron, he's a lawyer. He's successful. Laura, he's awful. Thank you. He's really awful. <laughs> Is it my imagination or are they? No, just they're the... everywhere. They're everywhere you look, everywhere you turn. Well, do you and David know what you're going to do for New Year's? David's been staying at his parents' house the last couple of weeks. Excuse me? I never imagined it would turn out this way. Why are you so desperate to have a child? I don't know if I can put it into words. It's, it's a yearning, a, a longing. It doesn't go away. Is it about nurturing? Yes. Absolutely. I nurture... I have nurtured a lot of students over the years, but I... It's different. Yvonne, are you afraid to have a child alone? Oh, what? How? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, uh... I suppose I'm more afraid of not having a child, waking up at 50 childless. Then do it. Do it. We've been everywhere having children alone these days. Well, how, how would you suggest I go about this? Go to a sperm bank or ask your friend Sam. Get serious. I am. How can you be suggesting all these alternatives to me when you won't even consider adoption? Well, there's still some doctors that I have to see. There's um, a holistic guy who, who lives about 20 miles. I just want it so bad. I just want to know what it's like to have a child. I want to feel and to know what it's like to give birth to my child. I don't want to miss out on that. Can't you understand that? Dark with your nose so bright won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeers loved him, and they shouted out with glee. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in his story. Well, clap! That was good. 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 Okay, before we all go on vacation, I want you to know that I will be going away for a while. Maybe six months. Maybe longer. Why? Why? Because of the baby. I want you to know that I will think of you and I will miss you. We'll be out either. We don't know yet 
Jane is looking for a new teacher. Now, I want you to promise me that you will practice everything. Use your language and your speech. Okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> Good. Good. I love you all. Go, 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 go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Why do I have to leave? The baby isn't born yet. The baby is sick. What's wrong? Something's not right with it. Doctor can fix it. Yeah. What a good sentence. You said that really well. You smile. Bye bye. Bye bye. Suicide. Just like I was last year. You know, last year learning I went to this. Oh, place. resolution number one. No more talking about Lauren. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right. Look at the resolution out of you, my friend. I'm perfect, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I can dredge up uh, something. Not, not being quite so critical of the female gender. Mm, perhaps, perhaps. All right, your turn. Oh, no, 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 not in dancing, in resolution. Ah, I have those. I have a slew. Go. Okay, I want to reread all of Thomas Mann. Oh, that's exciting. And I want to lose five pounds. Unnecessary. I want to learn to use a computer. <laughs> Continue? Uh, where did I leave off? Computers. Right. <clears throat> okay. I would like to visit my parents more frequently, um, introduce some contemporary English poets to the curriculum, maybe have a baby. Is this in any order of importance? Probably not. Who are you going to have a baby with? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you. Wouldn't you like to father a child? Me? I was only kidding. No, you weren't. No, I weren't. Oh, gay. You know, a couple of other women have made a similar request. Oh, so now you're telling me that I'm going to have to take a number? No, no, no. I, I just don't know what's going on. I, I don't think of myself as a breeder and uh, a father. Whew. I can't even make a commitment to another adult. But you, Yvonne, you're so together, so intelligent. Well, if I am so terrific, then why am I alone? Maybe you've had bad luck. Maybe you've had the wrong men. <laughs> Maybe subconsciously... You want to be alone. What do I know? I'm just a math professor. But I do know one thing. I, I think you should do it properly. With a husband. You're right. Waiter, <clears throat> excuse me, would you bring me a husband? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New
Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I wanted to see you. I wanted to see you, too. You know, I was thinking, um, this is the first thing that we've ever had to overcome together. And I don't want it to pull us apart. I want it to make us stronger. I feel that I failed you, David. I, I do. I feel that you wanted to find a woman who could give you children. It's not about being pregnant. It's about being a family. Do you still love me? familiar with how this works? Um, vaguely. All right, let me read you an ad. Loving couple wishes baby to give warm, tender care to. Call Susan Collect on weekends. This is basically how it works. You choose a state, there are 30 where this is legal, and place an ad in one of the local papers. Is there any screening that we have to go through before we can qualify? Well, here, the state investigates the health, the economic situation, and moral character of the parents. How do, how do we go about arranging to meet the mother? Well, you can go to where she is or fly her here to meet and see if everybody likes each other. How, how, okay. how long does it usually take to get a child? Well, it can take anywhere from a couple weeks to a year. You have to be on standby all the time, though. And how much does this all cost? All right. <clears throat> The price includes this consultation, all medical expenses, transportation, my fees. What is, what is the total cost? Around $10,000. Well, this is not an adoption agency. I mean, we uh, work much faster, and it's an expensive process. But after all, you're getting a family. So do you want to start placing ads, or do you want to go home and think about it? We can start placing ads. Good. Well, I gotta get back to work. What's the matter? We're buying a baby. Well, you can look at it that way. No, that's that's the reality of the situation. I mean it 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 has a price tag on it, like the house or the car. Hey. Hey. We're giving a human being a chance at a better home than he or she would have ever had ordinarily. This kid is not going to have to worry about food, shelter, education, or love. It's true, David. You're right. I wanted him or her to look like you. <laughs> so, act like me. Sound like me. Who knows, maybe even, maybe even be a lawyer. <laughs> Can I have a kiss? Can I have a better one? <laughs> David! Is this too much walking for you? No, not at all. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. No, I'm perfectly healthy. It's the baby we have to worry about. Do you think women a hundred years ago had it simpler than we do? I mean, no laparoscopies, no amniocentesis. Laparoscopy? They didn't even vote. Well, they didn't have so many choices. It certainly is a challenge these days. All praise be to the ballads of old times and the bards of simple ways. What did she say? So, Yvonne, when are you going to the sperm bank? Soon, maybe. When are you going to Houston? We're not going. 
I thought you said the lawyer had everything set up. Mother decided at the last minute not to give the baby up for adoption. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Uh, oh. You know, I just don't want any more disappointment. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> uh. God, Laura does not want any more disappointment. <laughs> okay? And while you're listening, Cindy and I can do without it as well. <sighs> Got that? No, no more disappointments! Mary Anderson? Mary Anderson? Here's a list of all the donors we have to date. Do you have any specifications? Specifications? Dark, blonde, blue-eyed? No. Hmm, perhaps you'd like someone with your own coloring. Perhaps. Do you have any religious specifications? No. Who are these donors? Oh, mostly students between the ages of 18 and 35. And where are the inseminations done? At your doctor's office. Is there something wrong? I just all oh, seems so simple. Well, yes, it is. Is anyone on the list of interest to you? Oh, no. Um, I need to do a lot more thinking before I dive into something like this. A lot more. Yes, of course, I understand that. But we're here if and when you're ready. Thank you. Look at all of us. Laura's putting ads in newspapers. I'm actually visiting sperm banks. Next year in the South Street Mall, they're gonna have they're gonna have adoption shops and sperm banks. Maybe even instant teller sperm banks. Babies on on cable. The shopping channel. That's the shopping channel. We're smearing the polish. Sorry. So, have you met anybody new? Cindy, single people really hate that question. I guess that means no. I made an appointment for an insemination. You did? Yeah. Laura's gonna meet me there. Well, that's good. I mean, I figure at this point in my life, that's about the only way I can. Except I am concerned about the child. I mean, growing up without a father. Is that right for a child? You have a lot of love in you. You know, sometimes one good parent is better than two not-so-good parents. I don't know. You know what you've been through. Can, can you imagine going through that without Jake? It is. Who, who am I speaking to? Samantha? Where are you calling from, Samantha? Iowa. Well, no, no, it's it's 4.30 here. No, we're, we're two hours earlier. Yeah. No, that's all right. You saw our ad in the paper? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes, you could stay here. Mm-hmm. Well, why don't I call you in the morning? Yeah. Give me your number. All right. Yes, I'll call you then. Okay. Bye-bye. Samantha Green. She's a 15-year-old uh, from Iowa. She wants to have the baby and go right back to school. She's in her eighth month. Dave. Oh. I think this could be the one. I just, I don't want to let myself get excited again, you know?
You are definitely ovulating. Now, if you could just sign this right underneath your doctor's signature. I can't do this. Hey, Mom, what's wrong? This isn't me. I just can't go through with it, not like this. Honey, you're just panicking. That's all. Come back in. I can't. Yvonne. Do you want me to pull you back in there? Why? Because in ten years, you could say to me, Laura, why didn't you force me to do it? I was right there. I, I was this close. Now I'm 50 years old, and it's too late to have a baby. Well, then that's the way my life will be. Where is it written that we have to have everything in life? Wait, do, do I be believe that uh, if I don't fulfill every single role that I'll be disqualified? Have I forgotten what I have done with my life? Laura, I want a child, I do. But I want it with a husband. You know, my life has evolved to a point where it's not going to be ruined or fulfilled based on whether or not I have a husband and a child. That's... That's hard to admit. That's... But I'm not empty. I'm not. I've had a lot of of meaning in my life. There's a lot. And that will always be there for you. And I won't. <laughs> Flight 301 from Des Moines is now arriving at gate 6. Now this is her. Uh, honey? This is her. Samantha? Mr. and Mrs. Wallerstein? Laura and David. Hi. Oh, how Hi. was your flight? It was okay. Are you hungry? Do you want something to eat? We could stop oh, somewhere. But you must be tired by now, huh? Well, let's go home. Okay. Do you have any other luggage? Mm -hmm. That's it. Standby passenger break. Everything all right? Mm hmm. It's such a pretty room. Oh, thank you. We are converting this room into the nursery. That'll be good. Can I get you anything? Some juice or milk? No, thank you. Are you sure? Mm hmm. Has it been an easy pregnancy? Well, physically, it has been. I mean, I'm not throwing up or anything, but it sure made a mess out of my life. Yes? And my parents, too. They've been arguing the whole time, sort of blaming each other for what happened. That's why it's better that I came here. Have you been in touch with the baby's father? No. He goes to another high school, and he doesn't want to have anything to do with me. You know, the baby's going to have a very good home here. I think it will. All right, well, um, I'm going to let you finish unpacking. And, uh... I'm really glad we have the next few weeks to get to know each other.
Jake? 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 Mm. It's time. Quarter to seven. Jake, my water broke. Dr. Catherine Blue, please call the page operator. Dr. Catherine Blue, please call the page operator. Hi, Cindy. Blood pressure's fine. The doctor will be here in a minute. Cindy. Hmm? I gotta tell you something. I love you so much. I love you more than anything in this world. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jake, Cindy, start your breathing now. Oh, no. Cindy, I'm going to examine you. I want you to lie back. Put your knees up. Let's see how dilated you are. You're doing three weeks, right? Right. Oh, still kicking a lot? She could join the Bolshoi Ballet. Maybe we can introduce her to our son. That would be nice. <sighs> Cindy, you're now seven centimeters dilated. Don't worry, she's going to be fine. Do you have the baby yet? Oh, not yet. How's she doing? Oh, Mama says she's doing fine. Mm. I'm gonna go get some coffee. Want some coffee? No, I do. Cream and sugar. One of the advantages to adopting is you can have all the caffeine your little heart desires. Cream and sugar coming up. How's Samantha doing? Well, if all goes according to schedule, I should be right back in this waiting room in 10 days. You know, Samantha still has six months to change her mind after the baby's born. But she seems anxious to get on with her life. You remember when we were little girls and Daddy bought you that doll with the yellow hat and the long eyelashes? Yeah. You remember what I did to that doll? Yeah, as I recall, you uh, painted it with nail polish and tore its head off. Well, part of me is still that little girl. I was jealous of your new doll then and now. I know that. I, I just, I get so determined sometimes. Disregarding everybody else's feelings. Yes, but maybe it's because I'm about to be a mother. I, I'm starting to see things differently, and... If I have diminished the joy that Scotty has brought into your life one iota, please forgive me. Thank you. Well, my God. It's a good thing I'm in a hospital because I think I may faint. Fully dilated. Now. Into the delivery room we go. Okay, move her in, Jake. That's right. it. Okay, you're okay. Help her breathe. Okay. 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 Here you go. Ready? Hold my hand. Push. Okay. That's it, Cindy. One, two, three, four, five, Come six, on. seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Good. Breathe. All right. And again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Oh. Is it going all right, Doctor? Yes. Good morning. Keep pushing. 
One, two, three, four, Good. five. Great. Seven, Good. Seven, eight, nine, Come on, Cindy. ten. One more time. Okay. Keep the breathing going. One, two, three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. The heart rate's dropping. What? We'll have okay, to get him okay. out faster. Come on, Cindy. Come on, Cindy. Cindy, okay. on your next contraction, I want you to push down hard. Okay. 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 Hold on. I got you. Ready? Ready? Come on. You tell me. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Cindy. Oh. Not a girl. Coming. Okay. Coming. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good girl. It's coming out. Oh, it's coming out. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, Come on. seven, eight, nine. Go! Cindy, I can see him. Again? One, Cindy. I don't know. No, I, no, no. Come on. No, Come no. On, Come on, sweetheart. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Wait. Okay, you tell me. Tell me. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Come on, we got to go. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four. That's it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go! <laughs> there, there. There you go. Borrow him for a while. He comes all right, isn't he? We just have to run a few tests. Hello, Cindy. Dr. Liu. How are you feeling? I'm a little tired. Well, that's understandable. How's the baby? He's got one strong functioning kidney. He's a special little boy. And he's going to have to be watched carefully. But he's going to be just fine. Happy birthday, dear Scott. Happy birthday. 